Microsoft has launched a, an update for the SharePoint team sites. Now, previously, when we built the team site, it only include um, news and activity. And now it's going to include more. So let's take a look and see if this is uh, active yet. So we're going to go create site. Team site. New team site. <clears throat> Nope, not going to create any owners at the moment. It should now include a couple of extra web parts. There we go. You'll see it now includes quick links, activity, documents, as well as news. So there's news, there's quick links, documents, and activity. So definitely filling up the page a little bit, I'd say. So... Uh, quite a couple of cool web parts, but keep in mind that you can still add and remove your own web parts. So at the moment, it's kind of um, broken up into two zones. You'll see there that uh, it's actually set up to be two and one thirds. So um, you can still change this. You can add new web parts, of course. If I go here at the bottom, I can still add um, the usual web parts that I'd like to add. So that's just a, an update that came through recently is that it now has all of these web parts, which includes documents activity, quick links, as well as your news web part on your team site. So I am pretty sure you're going to have a lot of fun with your team sites. I think these new modern um, sites are absolutely beautiful and the new modern libraries as well. So uh, of course they are completely responsive, responsive if you think of a mobile and the way that they display on uh, the SharePoint mobile app. So enjoy and we'll chat soon.